Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. And today I'm going to show you some of the fabulous new products from this annual catalogue that launches in May. Um, as you may have seen from previous videos, I attended Stamping Up's on stage event and as one of the perks we got some products um, that I've already shown in a video um, at the event and we also had the opportunity to purchase more. Um, it's, we only get a selection of products that we can purchase so you may have already seen these on other people's um, videos etc but I thought I would share what I actually purchased. So demonstrators, members of my team can start um, purchasing um, select products from the catalogue in April but until then I'll let you see what I have got. So I showed you the in colour card um, in a recent video so I'll just recap on that. Um, so we have Shy Shamrock, Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink. Oh, uh, this one. I, I'm not the only one, but this one just does not stick in. Summer Splash, that's it. <laughs> just evades me every now and again. And Petunia Pop, which I think is perhaps my favourite. Um, and then we've. I've now got the... Um, designer series paper pack in the in colours as well so let's just start with the petunia pop then so we have some stripes and we have some dots but it's not just stripes and dots we have this gorgeous design um, with leaves and flowers and this one as well so I love dots and stripes but it's nice to have a bit of a change and absolutely love that one. So that's our Petunia Pop. Can't see it without doing the pop. And then our... Summer Splash. So lots of uh, other demonstrators have done some graphics showing you the difference between these colours. Um, if you'd like me to do that, then just let me know and I can happily do that as well. Then our Pretty in Pink. Lovely. And Peach Pie. Which I have to say, I'm loving a combination of peach pie and pecan pie. <laughs> All the pies. Oh no, we could have pumpkin pie in there as well, couldn't we? And then shy shamrock. Love it. So really do like the new um, designer series paper. So that will our colour family packs will have the same designs in there as well so that's our regal subtles neutrals and brights okay so um i also got the stamp and write markers and these are the shimmer gems which i pre-purchased and then got a free set as well um, so I have actually shared some with someone. Love the sparkle on those. Um, there are some other in colour dots as well if you're not into the shimmery sparkle ones. And I have bought one real ribbon and I tend to do that um, until I know which colours I prefer because I don't use a huge amount of ribbon. And I always end up with lots left over. So I'm trying to be a sensible girl. Um, and I wait and see how I like it for tying. 
and it is quite it's it's quite firm but not overly so it is okay for tying as well and I really liked the detail kind of stitching on either side of that gorgeous so that um, will be available in all of the five in colours it's also available in one of uh, or one of this brand new colour which is joining our basic range so we have basic white basic black basic grey and now basic beige um, so there's the card colour for that as well nice extra addition okay now if you haven't seen it i did a blog post with things that are retiring and thick very vanilla is one of them um i don't think we're getting basic beige in thick um to replace it so we will just have the thick in basic white so i got the ink pad uh, for that as well. I did get the ink, well I did order the ink colour ink pads. There was a bit of a, a snafu and they haven't arrived yet but are on their way to me so um, I'll have them very soon. So that's the colours. Get rid of that for a moment. And a previously shared um, stamp set called the Leaf Collection that I got as a freebie at on stage and spotlight on nature and the spotlight on nature dies i have done my usual of putting them on magnetic um, sheets but I also did a little bit of playing with some retired card so that you can see some of the details from the suit so, you will get this detail in three different sizes um, but obviously with that one and that one because the lines are um, you know you've got a much bigger circle to put the lines around and um, it does look quite different but it is the same design so those are the three designs that you get in all of these different sizes so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you get four in each of those. Awesome. Um, so I promise I will actually make something with these products very, very soon. <laughs> Rather than just keep showing you things. Okay, so keep an eye out here and on my blog, which is stampwithnelly.com. Okay, now, I'll just show you next. Um, I got a standalone stamp set. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I've had this cough for weeks and it's not going away. Um, it just sneaks up in me every now and again. So, yes, I bought the standalone stamp set um, because I do love um, just nice, simple um, sentiments. And we did actually use this in one of the crafting sessions um, on the... Friday lunchtime at on stage. Um, love it. So, um, got that one. I also bought Layers of Beauty, which is decorative masks, stamp set, and dies. Oh, isn't that sweet? Gorgeous love these um so obviously they will coordinate with that and they also coordinate with these masks that have a handy little notch at the top so you can line them all up um as we've had with other masks and you can layer up a design that will color all of that but there which you can cut out with uh, this die as well. Um, but 
love that it's got a happy anniversary. We've I've not had happy anniversary in a stamp set for ages. Um, no, that's not true because I did buy one um, that I pretty much bought for that because I needed to make anniversary cards. Um, but then we've got that one and then there's an online exclusive one recently that has happy anniversary as well. So um, loving that that is back in circulation. But you make my heart smile. That is lovely and grateful for you and a little God bless. Should that be your thing? Um, so yeah, I can't wait to play with that. We do have something similar in the catalogue right now, but I didn't buy that one. Um, I did see some amazing samples of that one at On Stage, and I do have some photographs, so I put those on my blog post that you'll get a link to um, for this video as well. Then I went for um, another bundle called Thoughtful Wishes. And it comes with this absolutely gorgeous designer series paper pack, which I've not even opened yet. Um, but I love this kind of paper pack where you basically just need to cut that down to a card front and slap a sentiment on it. <laughs> so, you know, something like that and that together, you can have so many amazing cards with that. Let's have a look at it though in a bit more detail. So you get, how many sheets are in this? There are 48 sheets. Okay, so I don't know if you spotted that there but there was a wee sneak peek. So you get four sheets of each design and obviously they are double sided as always. Just love this watercolour look. If I could paint like that, I would, but I can't, so let's just buy the paper. And then on the back there, just gorgeous. I will give you a rundown of all the colours when we've gone through it. Beautiful scene absolutely stunning so you could stamp something on top of that as well um to create your gorgeous card beautiful oh. fabulous this one oh wowzers love the light and the shades the different tones on that Simply gorgeous. How well do they coordinate, as always? And we have this one, which I think that might be wild. Why the wheat not wild? <laughs> oh, stunning. Just stunning imagery and beautiful colours. Gorgeous. Now that you could save and make as a Christmas card, you know, a little bit like that. Season's greetings, done. Gorgeous. And that's really quite, could be nice and wintry as well. White heat and buff some uh, snowflakes on that. Again, lovely Christmas card. But then the other ones are very spring and summer like. Stamp a few little birds on there. Gorgeous. Great for me. Oh, easy, easy cards. Now to me, this says thistles. Loving that combination of colours on that. And then we have this one. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. And then my favourite. I'm not going to lie, I bought this pack of paper for this actual design. Will I cut it? I don't know. <laughs> I might cut one, <laughs> but it's just so pretty to a Scottish lassie with these stunning thistles. 
Although I've been digging out thistles from uh, a flower bed recently, so they're not actually my favourite thing at the minute. But <laughs> that is just simply gorgeous. And combine it with that is fabulous. Right, so what colours were in here? We had Blackberry Bliss, Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Pecan Pie, Petunia Pop, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock and Wild Wheat. And yes, I'm going to have to have another little coughing fit. I'm just not used to talking this much. I think that's my problem. <laughs> so this gorgeous paper comes uh, in the same suite as this fabulous thistle stamp. Love this one. I love them all. Love the fonts. Love a splatter. You get it. I love this one. Love it. Um... And then these dies, so that there are some that coordinate with these stamps. I don't know if there's one for that one, doesn't look like it. Um, but there's loads of other ones that you could build up little scenes. And um, this one looks awesome. Let's just prize that off. Best way to do, in my opinion, is to manipulate the card and not the die so you don't bend your die. Okay, but that would look lovely at the top of a card, side of a panel. Yeah, need to be playing with that one soon. Really need to get creative soon instead of just talking about all these gorgeous products. So that needs to get put onto my magnetic sheet as well but isn't that just stunning makes up for losing the thistle set we had a while back <laughs> and then the last thing is some more designer series paper and um, this one i did show you in my swag video and um, i'll give you a quick look again it is called frames and flowers because you can get some frames from some of these sheets but then there are other normal full sheets with the most gorgeous designs on them let's flip that over and if you're not totally into all of the flowers then you've got some gorgeous more neutral combinations as well there are more pop-out pieces on some of these sheets as well. So absolutely gorgeous. That one was my prize patrol. So got that one for free. Well, if you exclude the cost of going to Rotterdam and on stage, but you know what I mean. I will edit out my coughs. So if you see jumps and think, what on earth was she doing? She was having a cough again. Oh, missed that bit out of that pack. Just put it in. What I'll do with those is actually pop out all of the pop out bits and put them in a little uh, folder. So this one is called Country Woods. And there is a whole suite with this with a, a um, bird box stamp and dies that you can build the little bird bird box scene as well but I'm a sucker for any kind of wood and um, I love the kind of seaside tones to that given that I live by the seaside okay so we've got that these are brilliant for masculine or gender neutral cards and um, you can do anything with with a wooden background Absolutely anything. Make it junky. Or not. Love that distressed paint effect on that. Simply stunning. Isn't there just so much texture in that design? And another kind of crackled paint effect on that one it 
almost feels like that salty and sandy. It's not perfectly smooth, as you would expect from snapping up paper. Um, but gorgeous. Love it. And then we've got a little bit of kind of yellowish tones coming in on that one. And the grease. And that's it. That is what I put in my PPP or I can't even remember what PPP stands for, honestly. I think my brain's just gone to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I should have told you the colours in this one, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Um so boho nope, basic beige, basic grey, crumb cake, early espresso. Grey Granite, Misty Moonlight, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate and Wild Wheat in there again. So absolutely gorgeous. And I think they will make a nice combination with these ones as well because we've got similar colours. We've got that Wild Wheat. We've got... Um, do we have Misty Moonlight in this one? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so I thought there's a, there's a few colours that are similar that we could mix and match with those papers. So watch this space. Next time I do a video, I will definitely be making something, not just showing you things. Um, but I do hope that you've enjoyed looking at my little shopping haul. And uh, if you have, or if you want to see me make things with these gorgeous new products, Please make sure that if you haven't already, that you um, click on the subscribe button, click the bell and get notification the next time I upload a tutorial. Until then, please do take care. Bye bye.